Due to its open source nature, WordPress can be easily customized. From modifying how an element looks to what it does, you can customize the WordPress site based on your requirements. Even if you use WooCommerce and its third-party plugins, you can customize the e-commerce functionality or how the products look or behave. When you have found a code snippet for your customization, you should know how to add it to your WordPress site. A simple web search will show people telling to add your code snippet to your themes functions.php file. In this video, we'll see how to update code snippets in your functions.php file on your WordPress and WooCommerce store. Let us take a simple demonstration of removing sale flash from the WooCommerce products. This sale flash usually displays when there is a sale price configured for the product. With a simple code snippet, you can choose to remove this from all the products in your WooCommerce store. Here's a code snippet that will remove the WooCommerce sale flash. This type of customization is done using WordPress hooks, known as action hooks and filter hooks. You can read our blog article on WordPress hooks for a better understanding. The link for the article is given in the video description. Now to add your code snippet to your functions.php file, move to your WordPress left sidebar menu, hover to appearance, and click on the editor settings. Next, make sure you have your activated theme selected. Click on the functions.php file which is titled as theme functions. This is the so-called functions.php file, where you can add your custom code snippet. A good practice is to add your code snippet at the end of the existing code, as it becomes easier to manage or modify in the future. Once you have added the code snippet, click on update file button. After the file is updated, move to the front end of your WooCommerce store, to see the updated changes. As you can see even though the sale price is applied for the product, the sale flash is removed using the code snippet. If you customize your site with a lot of code snippets, you should consider using a child theme or use a plugin like the Code Snippets plugin. With this plugin, you can easily manage your code snippet, add a custom name and description for better understanding, and also activate or deactivate the code snippet anytime. In this way, you can update code snippets in the functions.php file, on your WordPress and WooCommerce store. You can also read the transcript of this video. The link for the blog article is given in the video description. We have also added few tips on updating your code snippets in the article. Do check it out. Check out LearnWoo.com for more articles, videos, and resources related to WordPress and WooCommerce.